So, in previous lecture we discussed uh, how in a solid the energy levels for electrons are grouped in different bands. If we again take example of uh, sodium that is z is equal to 11, the configuration is 1 s 2 electrons here, 2 s 2 electrons here, 2 p 6 electrons here and 3 s 1 electron here. So, energy levels this 1 s is uh, almost sharply defined, 2 s will be al almost sharply defined little bit of spread, 2 p will also be internal this is 1 s, this is 2 s, this is 2 p and then you have 3 s, 3 s is spread reasonably spread then you will have 3 p and all those. Now, as far as uh, a solid sodium of n atoms let us say, then uh, you have 2 n electrons in a s state. So, this is 2 n electrons here if I am writing electrons, so number of electrons 2 n here and number of quantum states also 2 n here. Then uh, in 2 s also uh, in for each atom you have 2 electrons in this 2 s. So, here also you have 2 n electrons and you have 2 n quantum states. 2 p is uh, completely filled for each uh, atom you have 11 electrons and 6 of them will go in this uh, 2 p. So, 6 n electrons and 6 n quantum states and then you have this uh, 3 s in uh, for each atom you have 2 quantum states in this 3 s, but only 1 electron is there. So, if you have n atoms then n electrons are there and the number of quantum states is 2 n. So, this 1 s band is completely filled, 2 s band is completely filled. 2 p band is completely filled all quantum states are having electrons, but this 3 s this is not completely filled this is half filled there are 2 n quantum states, but then there are only n electrons. Now, if uh, I will be using 2 words very extensively and those 2 words are one is valence band and one is conduction band. So, one is valence band and other is conduction band. In this particular diagram this band I will be calling conduction band. and this this one this one I will be calling valence band. So, how do I qualify them or identify them? This valence band is you start from the lowest energy band completely filled go up completely filled go up completely filled and then uh, this is not completely filled. So, that uh, last band in energy going up, so highest energy band which is completely filled will be called valence band. So, valence band I will be calling the highest energy band which is completely filled. And when I am saying completely filled, I am not taking care of any thermal interaction. In other words, I am uh, treating this whole crystal, this whole solid to be at a very, very low temperature close to 0 k. 
in uh, thermal interactions uh, energies are exchanged between the lattice and the electrons and all that and because of that uh, energy exchange some of the electrons may get energy and uh, uh, go to some other band. So, I am not taking care of that we will talk more about this, but uh, when I am saying here this is completely filled this is completely filled and so on this is for low temperatures where the thermal interactions are not taken into account. So, this is how this uh, valence band will be defined and next to valence band will be this conduction band and uh, you can uh, write this as you can come from top you have other bands here also you have other bands you have other bands you have 3s 3p 3d 4s everything is there uh, they are all empty okay so if i come from top this is all empty this is completely empty this is completely empty and here you have uh, some uh, uh, filled not completely filled but some filled states okay so the last one which is not completely filled okay the last coming from top the last energy band which is not completely filled right so that will be called so this is not let me write it here not completely filled okay so that will be called conduction band so we have lowest energy band lowest energy band which is not completely filled this is also not completely filled it is completely empty but certainly you can call it not completely filled this is also not completely filled so you come down and this is that lowest energy where you have not completely filled if you go further lower you are you have completely filled band so this one and the first one coming from top the first one which is not completely filled we will call that as conduction band so the, these two words i'll be using very frequently now this uh, conduction band the name conduction band can be justified very easily at least in this case hmm? so if you have uh, this material let us say you have a you have some material not necessarily sodium you have some material which has this kind of uh, band structure where uh, completely filled completely filled completely filled and then partially filled so here you have enough number of uh, filled states and enough number of empty states all right so this kind of band structure so if you have this material you can draw a wire of that and then uh, you can uh, connect this uh, material to a battery okay connect it to a battery what will happen then uh, you create an electric field here using this battery an electric field is created here and this electric field drives the current that means this electric field interacts with the electrons and it tries to accelerate them tries to give a kinetic energy to them and so this electric field is giving or trying to give some energy to the electrons but then uh, are electrons ready to accept that for normal kind of uh, situations this energy provided by the electric field of batteries and uh, these things is, is quite small so only a small amount of energy is trying to give electric field interacting with these electrons trying to give some energy is not going to accept energy because if it accepts a small amount of energy where will it go all quantum states are completely filled and therefore it cannot go anywhere so these electrons are not going to accept that energy these electrons are not going to accept that energy these electrons are not going to accept that energy because if it accepts and tries to go somewhere else at some other higher energy state 
already there is an electron in that higher energy state and Pauli exclusion principle is there. Uh, no quantum state can have more than one electrons and therefore it cannot accommodate that. But here you have lots of empty space empty quantum states. So, if uh, a particular electron takes up that energy and tries to go to that uh, quantum state with little more energy, that quantum state is available and therefore, the electron can go there and therefore, it can respond to the electric field and therefore, it can be accelerated by the electric field, it can move. So, that is how these electrons are taking part in conduction and therefore, this whole band is known as conduction band. And remember these uh, states that uh, I am writing, this is for the entire periodic potential, entire crystal and therefore, if the uh, this electron uh, occupies that particular state, it is a wave function is now spread over uh, that entire area that means, the electron can be found anywhere and can go across that uh, whole solid. So, that is what we mean when we say that free these are free electrons that are free to move in the entire uh, solid material. So, that is that those sentences are related to these. So, this is uh, why it is called conduction band and below that you have valence band, they are all electrons, they are all attached to the nucleus to that crystal, the wave functions are more localized and all those things. So, this is how the thing happens. Okay. Now, there are varieties of structures possible. One structure is this. Okay, sodium, uh, I, I have taken sodium an example where there are 11 electrons per atom and then we see that uh, yes, you have a conduction band in which uh, half the quantum states are empty and half the quantum states are filled at low temperature and uh, therefore, uh, conduction is possible, sodium is a conductor, all metals will have uh, this kind of property. What about magnesium? What about magnesium? Let us suppose now we consider magnesium Mg. Here Z is equal to 12. So, for each atom the configuration will be 1s2, 2s2, p6 and 3s2. And suppose I have uh, n atoms of magnesium. So, what will happen? You have those bands and now 3s also for each atom you have 2 electrons. That means, after this uh, splitting and all that, this also has now 2n electrons and 2n quantum states. So, this is completely filled, this is completely filled, this is completely filled, this is also completely filled. Now, if this is also completely filled, what you expect? If I take a magnesium ribbon and then connect the ends to a battery, try to pass a current, what will happen? The electric field will interact with the electrons and then they, it will try to give some energy and this band is completely filled. So, these electrons uh, uh, are not expected to or you may think that these electrons will not accept kinetic energy from the electric field and so it should be insulator, but it is not. Magnesium is a magnesium is a very good conductor. So, what happens here? Here what happens for magnesium and in many other uh, materials conductors that the next 3 p state overlaps with this. This is 3 s and then next will be 3 p and after spreading 3 p goes like this. Suppose, this is 3 p. So, that means, uh, 3 s and 3 p they are overlapping and you have a single band. So, you have large number of quantum states, you have so many empty quantum states and therefore, those 2n electrons which are there, they can uh, take up energy from the electric field and populate those empty quantum states. 
you don't need large energy to go to this band 3s 3p bands overlap so in that case that whole combined thing will be conduction band once again this whole combined thing will be conduction band because this is, this is just like one band once it overlaps you have just one energy band this is allowed this is this range is allowed this is energy gap then this range is allowed and this is energy gap and then this range is allowed and so on so this uh, is once again this whole thing is the conduction band and here is the valence band and therefore you have enough number of quantum state, empty quantum states and enough number of electrons also and it is a good conductor. So depending on the material, the electronic configuration and all those things, you can have uh, band structures in energy only, energy diagram only. Uh, the band structure also means the relation between the energy of the electron and the momentum vector. So that relation we are not talking at this moment, it is only one dimensional energy diagram. So you can have uh, a situation where you have a valence band and by definition this valence band is completely filled, okay. So this is valence band, all these states are completely filled. And then you have conduction band which is partially filled. So this is one kind of situation and I remind you I am talking of low temperatures only. So this is one kind of situation where the conduction band is partially filled, partially empty. You have large number of quantum states which are filled that means there are electrons and you have large number of quantum states which are empty and then you have valence band. So, this is one situation. So this will be conductor. Then you have another kind of uh, material where you have valence band by definition it is, con it is completely filled. So, this is completely filled and then you have uh, conduction band and this conduction band is completely empty. Okay. So, this is also possible as I defined if you come from uh, top not completely filled, the first not completely filled, it is certainly not completely filled, it is not even partially filled but certainly not completely filled. So, this is the conduction band, this is the valence band. At low temperatures 0 K, this is the kind of situation and this energy gap is large. I will just tell you what I, what do I mean by large. Large means it is much much larger than k times t and when I say much much large that means let us say something like uh, uh, 100 times or 200 times like that 5 times 10 times uh, is not large. So this is one. So this kind of uh, materials are insulators. Now let us talk about this uh, KT business. As I told that uh, through thermal interactions electrons and this lattice they keep exchanging energies and that energy exchange is on the average of the order of this KT. So if this K into T for example at room temperature, at room temperature 300 K. this k into t is 0 0.026 electron volts or 26 milli electron volts. So, this is kt. So, this is the average, this is the order of energy exchange is, is of this order. But then uh, there are interactions in which uh, the energy exchanged is much larger than this, double of this. 5 times of this, 10 times of this or half of this or 1 tenth of this. So, that is all possible, but uh, the probability close to this kT will be much larger and then if I say 10 times kT energy exchange 10 times kT 
will be smaller, 100 times kt will be still smaller, 1000 times kt will be still smaller and so on. So, if you have this kind of situation where this uh, gap is large, let us say for example carbon in diamond form, carbon in diamond form, this gap Eg is about 6 electron volts. So, compare. 10 times of this will be 0.26, 100 times will be 2.6 and this is 6, uh, so several hundred times of this kt, it is a large gap. So, if I ask is there a significant probability of uh, an electron in this valence band taking up thermal energy from the lattice and moving to this the probability is almost negligible and therefore these electrons will stay there even at 300 k even at 300 k they will stay here and this will remain completely empty or if there are some states populated not at all significant so then if you if you take a diamond if you take a diamond and uh, connect it to a battery and apply a, an elect, a, some some voltage and create some electric field and that electric field tries to give some energy to the electrons these electrons these are the only electrons and other electrons are all in the lower bands none of these electrons is ready to accept that energy and therefore this is a good insulator very good insulator right so this is the class where you have insulators and then the third class is uh, you have similar structure you have this valence band you have this valence band and then you have this conduction band and once again valence band by definition it is completely filled but uh, this conduction band is again completely empty at 0 k completely empty. Okay, I am talking of low temperatures, 0 k. But this gap Eg is not very large as compared to kT. Okay, I am writing this symbol, but uh, uh, 10 times of this uh, or 15 times of this or 20 times of this or even uh, some 50 times of this is also reasonable for us all right so because there are number of particles are very large 10 to the power 23 particles uh, so even if the probability is as low as 1 in 10 to the power 10 then uh, then also there are 20, 10 to the power 23 particles you will have significant number of uh, of interactions in which the energy exchange will be 10 times kt or 20 times kt or 40 times kt and so on. So, anything let us say anything like uh, uh, say less than 2 ev or 3 ev is, is, is under this category. So, at room temperature or at elevated temperatures or normal working temperatures Some of these uh, electrons here, uh, the valence band electrons here, which are near the top of this, can accept energy through these thermal interactions and move here. All right, and they can move here. And if they move here, then uh, you have uh, all these empty states are there, but one electron going from here will populate this quantum state another electron going here will populate another quantum state. So, although the band structure is similar as it is here for insulator, but because this gap is not very large as compared to kT at room temperatures or the normal working temperatures some of these quantum states get occupied and that some of this uh, means uh, still can mean 10 to the power 13, 14, 15, 16. 
if the total is 10 to the power 23 sum does not mean 5 10 5 15 or, or 50 ok. So, that that number is sizable. So, if the electrons are here and then some empty states are created here some empty states are created some quantum states from which it has gone this quantum state becomes empty. And if this becomes empty then uh, the sum movement of electron of this energy is also now possible under electric field. If you apply an electric field of course, this can accept energy and go to a, a higher energy quantum state, but even here the electrons which are uh, in valence band lower energy and electric field is there even these electrons can uh, feel some pinch of that electric field and can start moving in the crystal. How? This is because if this quantum state is empty and there is an electron here and the electric field is there, this electron can accept that energy and feel this. Of course, this will become empty, but some kind of electron movement is possible. So, all because of these electrons in the conduction band and because of this empty states in the valence band both ways some electric condition conduction is possible if you apply this electric field if you connect that system to a battery. Of course, the number of electrons here or the number of vacant states here is still very small as compared to this uh, conductor case and therefore, the conductivity electrical conductivity as compared to this case uh, will be very very small here, but as compared to this it is very very large here that is why it is called semiconductor. These kind of materials are called semiconductors ok and that is what we are going to now focus and uh, z is equal to 11 I have talked z is equal to 12 I have talked and z is equal to 14 is the uh, is silicon which is the model semiconductor which I will be using for uh, further discussions. Most of our discussions will be in reference to this z is equal to 14 element which is silicon. Most of the semiconductor electronics even today is uh, built around that silicon. So, that silicon will be our model element semiconductor which I will be talking next. Thank you.